Thank you, everyone. It is an incredible honour for all of us to be celebrating this milestone together. And before I begin, I just need to take a moment to reflect on the fact that we've got this incredible class, this group of, of students, to call them students, from the class of 1949. And it's incredible to think, when you think of each one of these people, and I went around before, I had a chat to a few, and I'm looking forward to after this assembly having a chat to a few others. I suggest you do the same. Because what you find out is every one of these people led incredible lives, accomplished wonderful things. You've got an incredible academic amongst them here. You've got those who dedicated significant portions of their life towards the Jewish community and building up Jewish institutions that are still alive and thriving and doing very well today. You've got those that built businesses and supported what the community was doing. Of course, every one of them, they built families and they built an incredible legacy which we now get to be the beneficiaries of. So I urge you today, take a moment, go and have a chat, Find out. They were young once too. They were sitting where you are, possibly not physically in the BPAC, but they were sitting where you were once too and experiencing what you're experiencing. And it's an incredible story and we should be so proud that we get to play this next chapter in Mount Scopus College. Now, I draw your attention to what's on the screen there. And then maybe have a look at the front of this lectern. And you might notice something different. When I was in year 12, that was our emblem of the school. And it was in that year when I was in year 12 that a decision was reached to change it. You might have a look and see that actually they're, they're incredibly similar. And there's a lot of meaning behind it. If you ever go and have a look at the school website, you can go and have a look at what each of the colours mean and what it says. But the biggest change that's there is you've got that line the line of Judah, the protector of Jerusalem. But instead of the scroll, and what is that scroll, where the people of the book, that scroll represents our heritage and who we are as a people, that we are defined by Torah, we are defined by our achievements. The notion of having a scroll at the end of your schooling denotes your graduation. There's a lot of symbolism there. But to take it out of the mouth of the line and put it into the hand was a very specific decision. It was about saying, what is our image of the Scopus graduate? What do we want to see from every student in here? To say that we have good courage, that we have strength, is one thing. But if we don't open our mouths and stand up and talk and speak about injustice when it happens. Speak about when there is horrendous anti-Semitism around the world, when there's injustice with what's going on in Israel. If we don't turn that courage into action and open our mouths, who are we? As I stand here now, I can think of some students and even some staff members in this school who over the last few months have found themselves in a very difficult situation because they stood up and spoke. They spoke online, they wrote articles, they took a stance about what's going on in Israel and what's happening around the world. Those people are incredibly brave, incredibly courageous, strong. They stood up and they did what was right. And some of them took on immeasurable amounts of criticism from the community. They received threats. They were made to feel unsafe for standing up. And yet, in every single one of those cases, students who had issues online at the end of last year, is even a staff member right now at our school, I'm not even sure if she's in the audience right now, but she is dealing with those exact issues right now, of having stood up for Israel being proud and brave and courageous, being exactly what Scopus is about. 
And yet, despite that, every single one of them continued standing up for Israel and fighting, despite the criticism. So when one looks at this emblem and says, well, what is that symbolism of moving that scroll from a mouth to a hand? I can't help but think right now, in this time and this place, is where we say, Chazak Ve'amatz is not just something you feel, it's something you say. And when you see injustice, whether it be online, whether it be around the world, wherever it is, we're here to help you open your mouth, stand up for what you believe in, protect the Jewish people, and protect the land of Israel. That's what the landscape has always been, and for the last 25 years we have symbolised that with the movement of this scroll. And I urge you for the next 25 years to be just like the people who came here, build up incredible lives for yourselves, spend time building up this community, and every time you see injustice, open your mouth and say, Chazak ben Matz, I stand here for the people of Israel, I stand here for the Jewish people. Thank you, and Mazel Tov on this incredible community.